as if you see him, or at least worship him knowing that he sees you. That this sense of God consciousness should pervade all aspects of worship and pervade all aspects of life because from the Islamic perspective all of a human being's life becomes an expression of worship of God. There are specific acts of worship which are required which I mentioned previously but if one lives one's life in accordance with God's command the very act of eating or working or studying or vacationing becomes an act of worship so the whole of life becomes worship and what is required for it to be worship as I said is one that it be in accordance with the principles which God has outlined for humankind and that one who lives his or her life throughout the various aspects of life they have that sense of consciousness of God this summarizes the three stages of Islam and Prophet Muhammad may God peace and blessings be upon him summarized the goal of all of that and all the other aspects of Islam in one term and that was morality he said that I as a prophet was only sent to perfect for human beings the highest of moral character traits and he further said that righteousness and goodness is good character so that all of Islam all of the different teaching of faith and of practice etc is geared towards developing those moral characteristics the higher moral characteristics which all people in all times in all places admire as being the higher characteristics of human beings what makes a human being a better person those characteristics were specified or can be found called for in all of the various pillars principles of the teaching of Islam that summarizes the foundation of Islam and I hope if you have any questions following that to be able to answer more details. Thank you. Thanks very much. Right. <clears throat> any questions? Tom. Well, thank you very much for a very clear exposition on Islam. Faith obviously comes from very, very high in the list of elements. Beliefs in angels, in causes and parents, even your book, rather than some other book I could mention the book, um, might cause me some doubts. <coughs> Do you ever think on the we think I could be wrong. Personally, as an individual, of course, I may question, a thought may come to my head. Um, is this uh, the truth, the ultimate truth? Of course. Because I'd be worried if you didn't. I think you don't, but it's a very 
first, I mean, personally, as I said, the thought will come. I mean, it comes from time to time. It's not something that is constantly there with me. But on occasion it comes, and then I would then reflect on the choices I've made and what I'm following, and, and then reassure myself that, yes, it is the right way. Mm-hmm. Sure. <coughs> what is the attitude to evolution? And uh, is it that it, it has to be false? Do you have to turn your back on evolution to believe in creation at a particular time? Or, like some Christians, can you believe that evolution is a bigger way to drop trace? Well, basically, the Islamic view is that evolution is a theory. It's not a fact. In fact, it is promoted amongst the mass of people as a fact. Uh, the average person who uh, no longer questions it. You know, I mean, we have all seen the in the magazines, in the school books, you know, quite detailed uh, drawings and pictures of you know how uh, we came from a single-celled animal and ended up where we are. You know, this is very. I mean, nobody really doubts it today, but when you actually sit with the leading evolutionists, the actual scholars themselves who specialize in this field, you find that the story that we have been told over these years and have been believing, they don't believe in. You know, the evolution as proposed by Darwin, the, you know, the accumulation of changes eventually causing species to, new species to evolve from previous species, uh, this has never been proven. It was, from the time Darwin proposed this, he said, you know, there is a hole in my theory here, you know, this is that uh, we don't have these transitional fossils. You know, but that, you know, it is hope that with further, you know, anthropological, uh, geological studies, etc., that these missing links would be found. Well, you know, it has been a uh, hundred years since Darwin's time, and they still remain missing. And uh, as time passed, you find that the leading evolutionists changed their views and their explanations, you know, to account for this lack of uh, intermediary fossils. And in fact, our most popular theory today amongst the evolutionists is that of Stephen Jay Gould and, and others, known as the punctuated equilibrium theory, which basically states that, you know, a reptile gave birth to a bird. But there was no intermediary between our reptile uh, and the bird, but just he or she had a set of eggs, and out of one of the eggs popped a bird that uh, crawled away and flew off. You see, this is this is the uh, this is the this is what it has led to from an Islamic perspective. Are you saying it's wrong? I'm not quite clear. Okay, so our view is that it's a theory which is wrong. I mean, the fact... It has to be wrong, or just a scientific matter, and, and, and in 50 years' time, it's a transitional fossil. Yes. Okay. Well, it is rejected as a matter of scientific... Uh, I mean, it, it being a theory and that the science or the arguments behind it are not uh, but, but at the same time there is an aspect of it you know let, let, let me be clear on that that the, the uh, creationists who really are proposed the, the Darwinian theory also uh, run into a problem in that they try to explain that the length the age of the earth is only 4,000 years old, you know, based on the fact that the genealogy from Adam to, to, to Jesus, you know, is clearly defined and you can calculate how many people have been on the earth. So they present it and of course most scientists reject this outright, you know, as being total nonsense. And for Muslims, they have no problem with the fact that the earth is billions of years old or whatever, no problem with that. But the idea, one, that is being presented of species evolving into other species is an unproven uh, concept. It is a concept. Yes, that, that may... It's okay if proof comes. If proof comes as being a scientific fact, then no problem in accepting it. Uh, 